hi guys you welcome back to web technologies we are still on laravel for beginners we'll be learning controllers we get to move to the route well we still have our functions that route to the home and also to the services page so we won't actually be needing these uh, for a real life uh, application uh, it won't actually fly it's not going to do the job it's just going to work for f for programs that you actually write for let's say a few hours but if you're actually going or building for a production uh, application it's advisable to uh, translate this into a controller so we're actually going to uh, be using controller to reference uh, the route instead of using functions so I'm actually going to uh, change this to controller and I will show you how to achieve this. So right there underneath, I'm going to type our first controller. So we route, get, uh, we can use get, we can use um, put, we can use uh, delete, we can also use patch if you're familiar with uh, the rest api you should know all this but we'll still stick to our get um we're going to open the bracket and i'm uh, going to our slash now where are we linking to the pages controller at home close up we're going to actually wrap this around a single quote that's fine and uh, close it with a semicolon so this actually telling uh, the system or the application to get anytime you run the home or you anytime you're routing to the home page you're going to call on the home controller but we've actually not created this home controller so if you should run the application this way it's going to actually get an error let's get to um comment this out which is for the home let's get to comment it out that's fine and uh we'll be creating our first controller which uh, is actually sitting uh in the app http controllers so this is where you get the controller folder we have the first the, the default controller which is the parent controller uh called the controller.php that extends the base controller where we have the namespace uh the dispatch jobs base controller and validate request we get to talk about that in the later uh, tutorial you can as well just create a new controller file just by right clicking or creating a new file and uh, saving it into the uh, folder of the controller but I will I'll be teaching you a very uh, useful uh, instruction whereby you use your PHP artisan to create a controller right in your controllers uh, folder so let's quickly uh, get to do that and I'll show you how to do it you move to your terminals and uh, you're actually going to change directory to the project now let's run this command php artisan and see what returns let's get to look at the make uh, so you can actually make controller that's create a new controller class so let's quickly create our first uh, controller which is actually going to be uh, PHP artisan make colon controller um, space the name of the controller pages controller click on enter controller created successfully so let's get to let's go to uh, our ID and refresh this to actually see the controller. Let's get to refresh the file tree. 
can you see we have the pages controller which is being created by default so whether we are uh, we're gonna use the illuminate request since uh, if you should notice the class pages controller extends the parent controller class which is the PHP uh, right in the same directory so we're going to first of all pass in the first um, method here which is actually going to be public function oh. right inside there we, we're going to pass in uh, the values so we can go back to the route pick up copy this out go back to the controller and, pa and, and pass it into the home method so we save this out let's test uh, the first controller so we do that from the terminals this time is going to be php artisan serve open this in the browser can you notice this these are the cars right in here merge this audi and under our controller is perfectly working so the same thing goes for other pages so let's go back to brackets to our route which is actually sitting over here let's do the same thing to the services page so it's actually going to look like this route let's just copy this out since we're just going to change some little things right there paste it here so this time it's going to be services now it's going to be services or let's call it services page page save this out here uh, we're still going to extend the comments cut it out so it's actually going to comment that also save it out we go back to our controller and create the services page M method come over here public function services page the calibres now we're going to pass in the values where we're going to return this the, the page itself so we go back to the controller we paste that over there save it out and we'll go back to the browser forward slash services can you can you notice this we have the services page right showing it's working perfectly and uh, i would like you to try this out don't just keep watching try it out lay your hands on the code try to uh type in some code it's actually going to help you out while typing just don't just sit back there and watch the video alone practice this and get yourself acclimatized with this workflow thank you very much don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a lovely day there's still a lot to learn in this particular module bye bye for now